If you like my content, please make sure to check out the links down below to help support the channel grow. What's going on YouTube? It's Got the Night here coming to you with yet another video, and this is take freaking three of this video because I'm having microphone issues. But let's get into the topics at hand of the 1080 price drops, the GTX 1180 PCB, and the 9th generation Intel Core i9, Core i7, and Core i5 at hand. Now, first let's get into the uh, 1080 here. As you see here on Newegg, you can get a GTX 1080 as low as 450, you know, in this 500 to 450 range, which, you know, may look like a great deal, don't get me wrong, for the performance, the GTX 1080s are really good, but the only thing that they're trying to do here right now, I believe, because most of us do believe that the 1180 is coming out. They have that press conference on the 20th this month, so I guess we'll find out if uh, that leaked rumor of the 1180 being released on the 30th is true or not, but I guess we'll find out. But even though this is a powerful card for 450, I don't believe it's a good thing to buy right now, just for the simple fact that once the 1180 does come out, they're going to price drop it even more, I believe. Uh, just because, as manufacturers have said, they had to send a lot of this stuff back to NVIDIA. Not only that, um, they themselves still have a pretty big overstock of GPUs uh, because of the mining craze that went on. And then the ASIC miners came in and wiped all that out. And then GPU prices went back to normal. But at the same time, they want to get rid of their 10 series. So I think once the 11 series is announced officially, we're going to see even bigger price cuts. Like, how cool would that be to get an, a 1080 for like 350? That would be freaking insane. Will that happen? Honestly, probably not. We'll just have to see the pricing on the 1180 and go from there with that. Now, speaking of the 1180, I'm a little late to the party on this one. As you see here on the screen, we have a picture of the front of the PCB and the back of the PCB. As you see here, that's where all the memory modules will go. Uh, and you see a new SLI link uh, called NV Link Connector. Um, from speculation and stuff like that, this is actually going to help SLI performance greatly, uh, especially since they're saying that this should have 8 or 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, which is going to be a lot faster. So if we have 16 gigs and what I do believe NVLink does allows you to have 16 gigs in this card, 16 gigs in that card, and they actually work together and stack, that would be insane, especially when it comes to designing games, knowing that a lot of people are going to probably have a lot of VRAM, so you can throw in a lot of textures and stuff like that, obviously if they have the GPU power. And if you look here, just like the 1080 Ti, as it says right here, it's going to have a... Whoa, what just happened? I don't know. Ah! The uh, 1080 had a 6-pin plus 8-pin. Uh, if you look here, it looks like it's going to have the same 6 plus 8-pin. Um, with it being a pop probably a new architecture, new memory. I can see why they probably have to do this versus the 1080 single 8-pin connector, as it says right there. Um, this has to be a final production of the PCB because I don't think they would go through the trouble of getting it certified from the FCC uh, if this wasn't the final production. Um, I do believe that on the 20th, again, just like I said over here in the 1080s, that this is coming out at the end of the month now. Um, I made a video earlier saying that it was just rumors, speculation, um, and honestly, it's turning out to be Gamer Melt was, it looks like he's turning out to be right, to be honest with you guys. Uh, the more and more information that gets leaked, the more and more I think he's right, and that's awesome. Um, so once this comes out, I believe the 1080s are going to get slashed in the pricing department, but we'll see. So what do you guys think? I want to know what you guys think in the comments down below, but let's get on to our last story here. The Intel Core i9 9900K, i7 9700K, and the i5 9600K. Now, this is where I think they're going wrong. This is going to be an 8-core 16-thread, unless this is the new mainstream uh, processor, which it probably is now that it has a K instead of an X. I'm not 100% sure where the pricing in these are going to be because if you see the i7-9700K has 8 cores, 8 threads. First, the a7-9700K having 6 cores, 12 threads. So it just depends on how they do the pricing on these. 
will depend on if this is a good idea or not. Because uh, if that's the case, I I personally believe, especially in multi-threaded applications, that the 8700K with six cores, 12 threads, is probably going to do better than the 9700K. But again, I could be wrong. Uh, we should see these, as it says, in October. So quarter three of 2018, which would be really cool. We'll just have to see what they um, bring out. Uh, not only that, MSI has since taken down this blog post, but they stated that their 370 motherboards with a BIOS update will actually work with these chips. That would be awesome for anybody who has an 8700K looking to upgrade. Now, should you? I don't know, because that 8700K is an awesome chip. It can clock, overclock very well. Um, maybe these guys will be even better overclockers. We'll see. But as of right now, we don't have a whole lot other than it should be coming in October, as you see there. What do you guys think down in the comments below? Do you think the i7-9700K is going to outperform the 8700K, not only single perform core performance, multi-threaded applications as well. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments down below. So make sure you like this video if you liked it, dislike it, dislike it, subscribe if you're new guys. So this is Guff the Knight, signing out.